Here now is Lisa Bell and Candace Campos with Florida Foodie. Hello and welcome back to Florida Foodie. I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Candace Campos. Today's guests are our husband and wife duo that they run their cookie factory, but I have mm -hmm. to preface it's with a PH. That's right. Factory <laughs> at Mills 50, recently expanding their business, even partnering with Foxtail Brewery. Oh, this is so yeah. good. Uh, we want to welcome today Ashley DeCunto and Israel Arazo from Fat Ash Bakes. You have to be very, very careful slow. <laughs> when you pronounce that. Slow. Thank you so much for joining us. You were on Florida Foodie about a year ago. Mm -hmm. Since then, I mean, you guys have just grown like crazy. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to watch. And we're so happy to have you back with us today. And you brought some treats today. Yes, well, yeah. we're happy to be here. So thank you for taking the time to have us back on here. So well, remind our viewers how you got started with your own business. It's a crazy Fat story. Fat Ash yeah. Bakes. Yes. Um, well, we moved down here from New Jersey in 2020, or at the end of 2019. And um, I would just bake for fun, like to kind of pass the time. We really didn't know anyone. Um, so I would just like stay home a lot and bake and then bring it to work. He would bring it to work because, you know, two people can't eat right. that, that yes. many cookies and whatever banana breads. Um, <laughs> and then my friends would just encourage me to, you know, sell the things that I was making, which was really awesome. But I mean, I didn't really kind of believe them, but then, um, I was working at Lululemon at the time and they closed the store, um, because of COVID. And then I realized that I could really focus on this and he helped me. Um, build it into a business, but we started out of our apartment and then expanded into a uh, rental commercial kitchen or well, commissary kitchen that we were sharing with other businesses. And then we outgrew that and he found um, a building downtown that we were able to buy and, you know, move our whole operation in there. Um, and we are neighbors with grilled cheeses in that same building. So if you've ever seen that, we're in the back of that building. You're in a great spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. The best. The it's best really, spot. It's really happening. You walk by, you smell grilled cheese and cookies at the same time. And it's you just, know people are going to stop. <laughs> yeah, you what's have happening? to. You have yes. to. Yeah. So um, give us an idea because there's a bunch of, you know, bakeries and, and cake cakes and cookie shops, mm -hmm. what makes your cookies, if you can't see them, mm -hmm. what makes them different, mm -hmm. obviously? Um, I guess for me, I just think of all of the snacks and um, all the treats that I like to mm -hmm. eat because I love junk food. <laughs> <laughs> so why not put it into a cookie? Because I also love cookies and so does he. So we kind of experimented with just how um, extreme, but also still quality and delicious can we make the things that we are you know that are coming out of our kitchen and so these are some of the combinations and things that we've come up with um with our team of bakers who are also incredible at you know helping us with menu development and decorating and stuff um but i would say what makes it different is just there are no limits yeah just mm. just do it if it doesn't work out that's okay but hopefully it will. <laughs> Instagram is key. It's a key ingredient yeah. in your business. That's yeah. where you guys yes. hooked me. It was yeah. right? your Instagram yeah. videos. I mean, you have like more than 25,000 followers right now. And that number just keeps growing. The last time you were here, it was not that high. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so how does that work? You just announce on a certain night, these are going to be our flavors. This is how many we have available. Walk us through that process. Yeah, I think um, for us, um, what we do is on Thursday night, we drop our flavors. Friday, we do have walk-up hours now, uh, which changed up a little bit. Usually, we only sold online. And now, uh, because of our local, um, I guess, our local family uh, wanted us to, to sell our cookies right here now. Fridays were open from 2 to 7, and Saturdays were open from 11 to 4 for walk-up hours, and those are our speakeasy days. So in the back of our building, you can ring a doorbell, and we sling cookies from the back of our bakery during those hours. And so uh, for us, I mean, that was um, that really helped the um, helped us just be a little bit more part of the community. Yeah. But as soon as we sell out, we sell out. Mm -hmm. So it does... Um, Give you a little bit more sense of urgency to yeah. go hop on, uh, you know, hop in a car, hop online to get them. I mean, it's supply and demand. You know, you're always craving things that you can't have. So <laughs> right. when yes. you finally have it open, that's when you want to go. Yeah. But I mean, even the packaging, you guys have just funny and instructions that just <laughs> is so endearing yeah. and so much fun. There was one. It was like you need to remove. It from the package, duh, or something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I mean, so it was fun. Yeah, I mean, we keep we started with only shipping, so it was really important to us to get like really fun and heavy duty packaging that keeps the cookies fresh for a while while they're you know during shipping. Mm -hmm. We actually have had 
several people write to us saying that they tried to put the bag in the microwave, which there is, what is it, aluminum? Yeah. On the back of it, and so obviously metal in Mm -hmm. aluminum in a microwave doesn't go well. Right. Um, So we had to put that (laughs) that on there. Um, But... It's, you know, why not just make it funny? You yeah, remove from packaging yeah. before yeah. heating. You and savage. do you ship nationwide? <laughs> savage. That's what it was, just savage. Yeah. <laughs> do you ship across the country? Yes. Well, we ship even internationally, too. Wow. Yeah, we, we ship anywhere. <laughs> and so uh, you were mentioning, Israel, that you start, you, you tried to build a company to match your lifestyle, but inevitably this thing has snowballed. Yeah. <laughs> and you have tons of partnerships now. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you're probably working more than ever, mm-hmm. I would imagine. One of your new partnerships is with Foxtail Coffee. Tell us about that. Yeah. So we um, are in one location right now. It's the Foxtail Coffee that's on East Colonial. And they have, um, it's called the Cookie Factory by Fat Ash Bake. So it's not under our exact name, but um, you'll see the cookies, you know, right when you walk in. And they have um, six flavors, mm-hmm. I believe. Yes, yeah, six flavors that don't change, whereas our menu changes every week. So those six flavors will change seasonally. And um, they'll get, you know, some some new flavors thrown in the mix. But those are the same flavors. They're there every week. And, you know, you can go there and pick some up with your coffee or... Seriously. There's a little afternoon treat. A little coffee and a cookie. I love it. You're, you're yeah. excited me up. Some of your cookies, I mean, they ooze and they goose <laughs> and they're just... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, what? so wh- how, how's the process of, of making your cookies? Like, do you m- put stuff inside and then bake them? Or sometimes, the yeah. Sometimes we do. We'll put, like, a, you know, a Snickers bar or, like, an Oreo. Not a full mm-hmm. Snickers, but, you know, a piece of one. Um, <laughs> in the middle of the cookie, maybe we'll put a Snickers and an Oreo in the cookie. I oh, mean, wow. listen... Who knows what we're feeling, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, we do a lot of fillings with like vanilla frosting or chocolate frosting, fluff, cookie butter, like in the center of the cookie when they come out, which is what mm-hmm. most of these have here. We make like a coffee cream filling for this one. This is like mocha fudge brownie. It's yeah, tell one us, of my faves. Show yeah, us, was... give us the whole tour. Show yeah, us what so you brought here this today. Is, we have over like 250 flavors that Are we've made. Yeah, so that's why we, that's another reason why I, like to rotate the menu every week is uh-huh. because it's like I have to, for my own sanity, have to change it up. And also driving myself crazy, have yes. to change it up every week. Yeah. So any given <laughs> but, yeah. Thursday, you're going to be offering approximately how many different types we of cookies? We offer eight every week. Okay. Yeah. We always keep chocolate chip on the menu because we donate a dollar for every chocolate chip cookie that we sell to a different charity every month. Good. So Good. this month we're working... Um, we're donating to the center, um, which is one of our neighbors right on Mills Ave. But some of the flavors we have here, we have campfire cookie butter. We have cookies and dream, which is like a cookies and cream flavor. Mocha fudge brownie. Um, this one's called lucky lemons. This one's called the right stuff. It's like cookie butter and cookies and cream combo. Cookie butter. Wow. Yes. Cookie butter and cookies and cream. I'm yeah. just trying those to get are that like some yeah, those, That's like okay. one of my favorites. Yes. Um, but yeah, this one is really good too. That's like one of those like really gooey ones. It has um, mm-hmm. these uh, caramel fudge cookies is in that, it. It looked like a Girl Scout yes. cookie on top. Yes, mm-hmm. it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then it's mixed with, you know, chocolate chips and marshmallows. And then there's chocolate fudge and fluff in the center with um, I see the homemade fluff coconut coming glaze. Out. Yeah, that's an awesome cookie. I mean, they... How That's are one of you even standing too. up straight <laughs> after, you know, making... Because you got to sample them, right? Like, yes. This guy yeah. right here. Yeah, this guy's really good at sampling. <laughs> she just He's keeps like, talking about her cookies. I feel like I would yeah. be in a sugar coma, you know? <laughs> I know. Yes. Some, some days we are. The husband and wife team behind the Orlando small batch cookie startup Fat Ash will be back in a minute to show us how to properly enjoy those sweet treats. What I like to do, I like to break it open and get a bit of the middle and a bit of the side. More Florida foodie after this. They built a following through Instagram at the height of the COVID pandemic. Now this gourmet Orlando cookie operation is selling out at pop-up shops across Central Florida. Let's get back with Florida Foodie. Okay, so I, we have a few more that we Oh yeah, we sorry, just, so this one, um, the names don't necessarily match up with what the flavor is, which is why, I'm, this one's called Tori's Secret, one of our bakers, her name is Tori. Okay. She made this cookie. Um, and it's a red velvet cookie with nutter butters, uh, marshmallows, and then fluff and a peanut butter cup and oh. peanut butter chips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then we have <laughs> can't, this one. Can't forget the peanut butter chips. It's called Cloud Nine. So we make a funfetti cake and then we put that in the dough. So there's like big pieces wow. of Ooh, the funfetti cake, cake mm-hmm. in there. Um, 
And then there's sprinkles, white chocolate chips, and Teddy Grahams. And then this one is chocolate. Oh, they are Teddy Grahams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. He that's said it looks like so they nostalgic. were on a cloud, so yeah. we named it yeah. Cloud Nine. Oh, and then cute. this one has what? This one's, um, this is one of the first flavors we made. We had five flavors on the menu for a minute, and that was one. It was, it's called PB Smash, and it's a chocolate dough with Oreos and peanut butter chips, and then peanut butter and another Oreo on top. <laughs> the most popular cookie? I would say this one. Uh, these two, probably. Yep. Campfire cookie butter and cookies and dream. Now, you also mentioned you drop a lot on well, you don't drop the cookies. You drop your menu on, yes. on, on Thursday. Come on, be hip. Uh, <laughs> what about special orders? Because I imagine there's a lot of people who look at this and they're like, ah, oh, I can't get to, you know, yeah. wherever on Friday right. or whatever. Yeah, we do special orders and um, mm -hmm. we do a lot of custom orders as well, like for weddings and special events. Um, so if, you know, someone, let's say if it was for a wedding, if they want to make up their own flavor, as long as we can get the ingredients... We'll make it. Oh, that's cool. And we yeah. have a, even a gender reveal. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a newer yeah. one so that we started doing. How does that doing. work? So it looks like a regular chocolate chip cookie on the outside. You can't see anything, but then we colored the center of it with, we colored the dough in the center with whatever color uh -huh. you, know, you want in there. That's so. fun. So what's next? What's, what's, the, what's the future? What are, yeah. you, what are you guys looking at for the next year or two? I mean, just <laughs> keep growing, I guess, yeah. you know? Yeah. Just you know, be happy and love what we do and... That's you know, a, that's keep it going. That's an important part. The the um you know we want to stay true to to keeping that life work balance and also because our family within the kitchen is growing, yeah. um we want to see that happen for them as well. So anybody who comes to work with us, I mean, I think we have the ingredients to have a fulfilled life, and we just want to make sure that the people that are working with us mm -hmm. feel that way too. Yeah. And so um, whatever the future brings, we want to make sure that they're, they're feeling the love and they feel like they can go out and get the car that they want and the house that they want and things like that. So, you know, internally focusing on, on that, I think, is really going to speak volumes to what we can produce in the future. Team, yeah. yeah. And then we're working on some things that we can't quite talk about yet, but Ooh. we are, but there are, they, you know, we, um, we're very excited about it. Mm -hmm. And the Foxtails yeah. is, is definitely one of those, those things mm -hmm. that we're working on that's going to be mm -hmm. incredible. And it's yeah. been... As anything, it's uh, kind of like a slow burn until it catches fire, mm -hmm. and then boom, it, it starts going. So we're working through it. I mean, that's kind of how you guys started. Yeah. It was that slow mm -hmm. burn, and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, it, yeah. well, and I guess you have to come back for another podcast yeah. with another charm. Yeah, yeah. Like have to. Like we have to try some I would of love these. That. Which one's your favorite? Today? Oh. <laughs> I think my favorite is probably the toasted coconut s'mores. Okay. Or okay. the right stuff. Okay. Oh my, oh my God. I don't know if okay. it's hard. I was going to say <laughs> if you're into coffee, yes. try that one. Okay. Yeah. How do you eat also, this? Do you break off a piece? Is that, is I yeah, love you know. breaking them and okay. getting, you know, all right. So, you know, pizza. Yeah. Yes. My We're favorite, familiar. Right. So, <laughs> my, my, do you know pizza? Our, our favorite part of the pizza is right before you get to the crust. Like that. Uh -huh. like, There's like a little, little sauce. So yeah. A little crust. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. So, what I like to do, I like to break it open and get a bit of the middle and a bit of the side, the, the outside. So, that's my. Okay. Yeah. Which are you what are for? you eyeing? Um, <laughs> either the either the coffee or the the cookies and dream. Mm. Okay. I love it. I will say I'm a huge lemon fan. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's one of our yes. most popular okay. ones. Yeah. Okay. And, but also the caramel delight is my absolute favorite Girl Scout cookie. You're gonna have to bite two then. Yeah, you might need to bite two. <laughs> I know. Fine. They <laughs> <laughs> just handed our report. Oh, good. Look at that. Okay. Oh, we have a knife too. Okay. Oh, perfect. Oh. But we, but you have to. I'll tell I feel like people, yeah. you know, do judge it. us because we don't we eat cookies the right way. Yeah, like just no, like you do whatever no. you want. Our sister, cut it. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I can't find it. Oh. So remind us again the filling. What is in there? Okay, so in this one, it's a coffee cookie dough with um, has Java chip Oreos. It has um, espresso chips, and then we make uh, espresso cream filling and. Uh, coffee glaze too. Oh my god. So are you gonna get a little caffeine caffeine pick me up by eating that? She might. Yeah. This okay. is so good. It's and so then, soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I like soft cookies. And glaze keeps it really super soft too. But yours um, that you tried, it has mm -hmm. the uh, no. <laughs> has chocolate fudge and fluff in the middle in coconut glaze. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys this is like um like a Boston cream pie almost. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. With that. like coconut. Oh my gosh. But this has like four different textures in it. 
yeah, at the same that, time. Yeah. yeah. That's it. So you have like crunch. Crunch. I'm having more. You have a chip. Yeah, this is like Please. irresistible. It's, it's, it gives oh you my energy. Gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, it gives you energy. Yeah, you have that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm so happy that you said that because I, I think what differentiates us a lot from from maybe somebody else is that Ashley really thinks about the, the an actual cookie journey mm -hmm. with one cookie. You have mm -hmm. your you have your glaze on top that gives you this really awesome aroma and it's a really strong flavor. And then you get into, you know, kind of the crust on the outside. Then yeah. you hit the middle and it's like another burst of flavor. And then we That's have exactly what it is. You see yeah. the layers here. It's, it's incredible. They're awesome. I'm trying yeah. the lemon now. Oh there you go. Oh yeah Pick the lemon one. Up. Yep. Break it in half. Yeah. And what is in the middle really of this? Good texture. Do two oh pieces. my there we goodness. Go. That's that one it. has a Look lemon cream filling and oh, with yeah. lemon glaze. Lemon, lemon, lemon. Yeah, freshly squeezed lemons on the glaze. Mm -hmm. It's just, yeah. It's really? A, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Oh, well, man. This what, is like, what next? Like a glass of lemonade. I'll do. Thank it's you. so good. There you go. The glaze, you, we oh my gosh. love the yeah. ones that have glaze because like, they wait, really the do Oreo? have yeah, so which, much flavor. Are, which, which one do they go with? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, I'll go with this one. Nice. Uh, well, I'm gonna join you. I'm gonna have a piece of this And this is the so problem. And this is the problem because mm. this is what happens every it's single amazing. day we're in there. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So Israel, prior to this, you were working somewhere mm -hmm. and taking these in. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> And everyone, I mean, that's the same mm -hmm. thing happened to you. Everyone kept saying, like, you have to do this, you have to do this. Is this mm -hmm. what you were taking into the no. office? No. Mm -hmm. No. They looked like sad pancakes when I look back at them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I doubt that. I, like, became obsessed with making this one particular recipe that we tried a cookie when we were in New Orleans, and the mm -hmm. Airbnb host gave us, like, a welcome package, and there was this cookie in the room that we were like, wow, what? Is that? Are you seeing mm -hmm. them picking at it, trying to figure mm -hmm. out well, what's no, in it? No, I didn't have a chance because he ate them all when I went to work. <laughs> so that's another story. So anyway, he was Not redeeming salty. himself, yep. and we went to the store the next day mm -hmm. to get more mm -hmm. because he d left me none. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that one cookie, I became like obsessed with yep. making it over yep. and over and over again. And so that was like mostly what I would bring into work. Mm -hmm. And so it was like an oatmeal raisin macadamia nut. like mm -hmm. Which I love too that you were taking it into Lululemon because most people <laughs> who work at Lululemon don't look like they eat a ton of cookies. You know, like I'm serious. Be I was telling you something. <laughs> they were so supportive yeah. in me starting this, you know, like part of their whole culture of their company is um, empowering you as an individual just to be the best version of yourself. Like it doesn't, I mean, of course, at work too, but when they, they, they make you goal plan um, for like, you know, 5, 10, 15 years, and wow. um, they want you to not per make it pertain to your job only at Lululemon. It's like, how can you in your life in general just be better and do what you want to do? Um, so they really like- You don't hear me that often. No, no, right. no you don't. And yeah. that's what also makes you guys successful because if you have people in your, in your circle Putting the feeling the love, they put the love, yeah. you taste the love, you can and taste it, the love in this. Yeah, you really, yeah, you really can. Yeah, and cookies Thank already you. are such like a comfort food, you know, yeah. and it takes so many people back to good memories mm -hmm. of their childhood, making cookies with their family or whatever. So it's, it's these great. are like three hundred good memories all smashed. Yes, into one. yes. So. none of my childhood cookies ever tasted like <laughs> no, this, but yeah, <laughs> not at all. Yeah, they were yeah. really good. Um, so where can people find you? Obviously, so, social. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, uh, you know, we post our menu and all of that stuff through Instagram and Facebook, but our actual bakery is in, on Mills Ave, um, mm -hmm. 912 North Mills Ave. We have okay. Friday and Saturday walk-up hours, Friday 2 to 7 and Saturday 11 to 4. And then we are at a few, whole, uh, we wholesale at a couple of coffee shops and uh, restaurants around town. Um, we have Goodfellas mm -hmm. in the Loop Barry. Mm -hmm. Grilled um, cheeses, obviously. Grilled cheeses in yep. the front of our building. We have Propagate Social House in Apopka. And Cappies in Maitland. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Foxtails. Yes, Foxtails. But yes, mm -hmm. and those will have their own set flavors. They mm -hmm. won't be rotating like ours. Um, mm -hmm. But and yeah. when we see you one year from now, who I knows? Hope so. All the different places. Well, yeah, yeah they've got so. something in the works that right. they're not telling us. So <laughs> they're going to have to come back. back. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining us thank today. It's so been much. so much fun. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching Florida Foodie. You can catch us Wednesdays on News 6 at 530 or watch anytime on News 6 Plus. While you're there, check out our live cams. Just sit back and enjoy the beach from home or watch the cruise ships come in.